Jackson, we are driving right now to a community called Harvest. We just pulled in and uh, all of us, the whole team, we're gonna be walking through all, I don't know, five builders, six builders, uh, taking a look at them and seeing exactly what this neighborhood right here has to offer. Looking forward to this? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's do it. All right, so the first models that we're gonna be looking at is here at David Weekly Homes. They start in the 400s all the way up to about 600. They're 2064 to 3826 square feet. And uh, we're gonna look at two models right now. First impressions. Elena. I'm moving in tomorrow. The best, my favorite thing is just the large patio space. I mean, it's not even just extended wide, it's, it's extended out into the yard. Um, the, I'm an outside person, so. First off, you're not gonna walk into another building that's a Sunday customer that has the lighting and the windows. In these, places. these places, they always have better windows and things down below, things like the window sills and David Weekly is like the Nordstrom Cup Builders. Their customer service is top notch and they, va uh, they value their agent uh, builder relationship. They're awesome to deal with. They always keep the agent in the loop. So for our clients, we're not finding out secondhand what's going on. So top notch, they got a great online concierge and uh, Jody, uh, Jody Lee, and uh, just a phenomenal company. All right, now off to Pulte Homes to check them out. Now we're at Pulte Homes. So this is the second uh, builder, I think out of five that we're gonna see today. These ones are a lot smaller than the uh, uh, the David Weekly. These ones are 1841 to 2248 square feet in the 300 range. So we're gonna drop it down to a smaller home size and of course a smaller price. So let's go as a team to go check these things out, see if they're just as good, right? Yep, let's do it. All right. Okay, let's discuss Pulte Homes now. I'll go. I, I love how they use their space in here. Everything is, uh, I don't know, placed so perfectly, it seems like. Uh, yeah, I love it in here. It's a little bit um, smaller, but you use the space to make it look a lot bigger. So. so what do we notice about the overall build, the difference in build? David Weekly is a little bit bigger yeah. um, and everything, your hallways, your doorways, everything's bigger, 10 foot ceilings is standard and stuff like that. Um, I mean, Pulte does a good job though. This one's pretty upgraded. And the last one wasn't overdone, which some builders go over with. So that's, that's what I kind of like about it. it. They built it as if a normal person was building it now. It's not a builder. So what I would say here is I'm impressed with what Pulte has done with their lot sizes because you're in a single level home. And with the depth of this lot, you feel like you're more in a two-story. They've you know, definitely size. utilized all the space. Yeah. Well, and they've, they've, so they're they're only 50 wide, but they are anywhere from 120 to 150 mm -hmm. deep. So you're getting a lot. Now the price point between the two is over a hundred thousand yeah. um, <clears> dollars. <throat> so Pope Day's always built a very good home. They've got a very good name in the uh, in the valley, and uh, you know, like Jackson said, great use of space. But the most impressive for me is the depth and the lot sizes that you're gonna get out here in Harvest. 
Yeah. All right, guys, so that was uh, Pulte Homes here at Harvest. We're going to go to Beezer next and check out what they got to offer. Well, it looks like uh, we're not going to be going to uh, Beezer today because they're appointment only. Let's see if Guy and Homes will actually let us in or not. All right, so couldn't go to Beezer. They have uh, COVID restrictions doing appointment only. So we are now at Guillen Homes. Guillen is a super cool builder. I think they're from yeah. Austin, Texas. They're, yeah, they're a smaller builder. We uh, we they're did some business though. with them a while ago and uh, super cool, super accommodating builder. We're gonna be looking at their two models. I believe they Grisman start- and the Indigo, they're uh, low 400s Low 400s to- Yeah, low to five 400s. Of course, that's gonna change once you start adding the upgrades, but we're gonna look at uh, how this compares to the other two and kind of go What's funny about that? The other Guillens we had Guillen with, the neighborhood was also called Harvest. All right, guys, let's go check out Guillen Homes. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think about Guillen Homes? Um, I'll go first. I love it. I absolutely love it. The entryway is so sick. Um, it has a perfect place, uh, fireplace to split the dining room and the small uh, front room. I mean, it's literally perfect layout and the huge entryway makes it look so grand. That's my favorite part. The, the entry and how the dining room and the front room are split by the fireplace, it's nice. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know. I like the smaller things, like the uh, the master bathroom. Uh, they even in the smaller home they were separate. So you have a his and hers vanity that are separate. I like that. So that's yeah. Guillen's pretty cool. Um, great builder. Not necessarily like upper ech echelon, you know, the the top top tier, but they do do build a great product. Um, one of my favorite things about this, just like the architecture, um, some you don't see like in another ho a normal house, you'll see a bunch of square stuff. Um, actually go over there and walk into the master bedroom. You'll see, or even around the front room, uh, you see rounded walls and stuff like that. And these walkways, small, like focus points in, uh, uh, in hallways where it bends, just, just cool architecture and stuff. And uh, great job on the upgrades. So we are now at Land Nessa builder. Land C, Land C, Land C, and these ones are in the upper 300s, 2768 square feet, all the way down to 1936 square feet. So uh, we're excited about these, right? Last builder here in Harvest um, in Santan Valley. We're super excited for this one and to be done. And uh, um, yeah, we can't wait to show it to you. Let's go take a look. similar to all the other models but um, overall just beautiful home I think it was a little bit different like uh, this one had like the, the more like lofty style second floor the wraparound uh, landing up there yeah uh, the kitchen this is kind of an inter interesting kitchen because it's kind of closed off and like tucked in mm -hmm. unlike a lot of stuff it would be like right in the middle of the room well, and then so it, adds an extra, it adds an extra room to the back too yeah. you know there's that whole casita back there and that's I like the fact that there's no wasted space as well. You know? say easy to uh, furnish and stuff. There's a bunch of small pockets and stuff like that. You can fit desks in. I mean, you 
mentioned how the kitchen's tucked away. It's just a different way to furnish your home. Yeah. No. Well, I'd just say for a 1,900 square foot next door, it's probably the uh, cheapest thing you'll find with a casita. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So similar to uh, Lennar's next gen, but a nicer home. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like she had let us know, the sales agent, uh, they're very, very green building. So yeah, all energy efficient. A lot of, yeah, a lot of um, That ozone thing tech. is kind of interesting, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, 16 series HVAC. Well, that's just it. 16 series HVAC, and all the other builders start at 14 because that is the uh, minimum government requirement minimum. Mm -hmm. And so when you start there, um, that just says something about their commitment to green building. Yeah. And so if you're that person looking for a green build, uh, good place to start. Now, these lots are 45 wide, but if you look out the backyard, you get a lot of depth here. Yeah. So, very cool. Yeah. Perfect, all right, that is Land Sea Homes. From Justin. All doors leading to a backyard with a pool have to have a self-closing device and an additional lock up top out of reach. I think it's above four feet. Okay. Maybe it's above five feet, something like that. Safety is fun. Well, this is a little bit different because there's a desk. What would you call this? A pantry. Butler's pantry. <laughs>